So, as some of you may or may not know, Apple has announced a new iPad recently. But for most of us, we are wondering what the new iPad really has. Well, it has something called the A5X processor and Retina display, which most of us really don't care or know about any of that sort of thing. They say it's supposed to be better, but it's still going to be at it's going to be released on March 17th for $519 with some tablets like the Amazon Kindle Fire Research and Emotions Blackberry Playbook have been picking up momentum because of their low price of just $200. Both those tablets are widely believed to be selling at a loss, so a cheaper iPad 2 is going to put further pressure on them. But still, Apple is going to be causing confusion because they're going to be selling the new iPad and the iPad 2. The new iPad doesn't have a distinctive name, so it'll be hard to uh, to extinguish the iPad from the iPad 2, and they will still be selling the iPad 2 at the same time. This may cause some consumer confusion, and in my opinion, really isn't a smart move for Apple. So, it's Apple says that 49% of iPad owners are going to buy the new Apple. Personally, I wouldn't buy an iPad. I would stick with my iPod, but even so, I like it and everything. I don't listen to music that much. If you do, that's great. If you don't, it's not too much to have, and you're just better off with a computer. But, if that's what you're into and you have the money to spend, it's $519. It's not very cheap, if you know what I mean. Uh, you, there's uh, quite a few different things you could spend $519 on. But, all around, I like Apple products. They're good, they're reliable. I have an iPhone. I love them, and uh, I hope the, the new iPad will get the same love that my iPhone has.